500 subscribers, guys. I'm mind blown. <laughs> How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now I know with 500 subscribers I may not be the authority on YouTube growth, but I'm one of the very few who hit that mark in this day and age, much less this very week. So then again, maybe I am. By the way, like this video if you're proud of me. I have to confess that the more I grow, the more I realize that numbers don't really hold value. They are a stepping stone to statistical reach, but in themselves, they don't really signify anything. One channel that's 10 times smaller than another channel can create better quality content, can create more engagement, and can even create more income than its counterpart. And I find that amazing about YouTube because with the quality over quantity mindset, everyone can bring something to the table and make it on YouTube. We just have to look past the numbers and focus on what's really important, relationships. But that aside, you're probably here to know the steps that I took to get to where I am today. Even though chances are you've heard them all before, at the very least I hope this video inspires you to keep on fighting the fight, so here goes. Quality, frequency, and consistency. I know a lot of people see those as separate points, but to me they're all related and inversely proportional. The higher quality of production, the longer it takes, and therefore less often is the publication, and vice versa. Huge channels can be anywhere on this scale, so it's really up to you to decide. You can make a daily vlog and slap it together in an hour, or you can make a monthly short film and pour weeks of editing into it. And the best part is that there's a market for everything. But the most important thing is that if it's a month, then make sure it's every month. And if it's a day, make sure it's every single day. Don't bite off more than you can chew. I picked what I believe to be a sweet spot, a weekly video with a decent amount of time of filming and editing put into it. Consistency is the first step to building a community, helping your subscribers know when and how you're going to engage with them, which also creates a sense of expectancy. Speaking of which, if you subscribe, you can expect weekly videos on content creation and marketing. Note that quality doesn't mean just filming and editing. Your video has to bring value, whether it's through acting, humor, visuals, sound, education, whatever you choose, but it has to consistently bring value value to your audience. Next is the best video practices. Of course, these are kind of suggestions and guidelines, not the rules. Many people break them and still succeed. First, you need a short intro intriguing the viewer to watch. Then put in your branded intro, creating familiarity with your audience. Set up or introduce the story or the message. Build up the climax or the conflict or give the core information. And then end it with a resolution or summary. Put a call to action in the end or even better throughout the entire video. And of course, make a catchy end screen. Now we talked about the best SEO practices in a video a couple weeks ago, so check it out for the detailed version here. In short, pick core keywords, use them in your text, your title, your description, your hashtags, your other tags, and make a thumbnail that seems interesting or fun or informational to click on. And finally, distribution. The other day I met Jose, an amazing filmmaker and marketer passing by through my town. You guys ready to make a movie? Yeah, I guess let's do this. Yeah, we're making a film. Anyway, he's told me something that made distributing your video much clearer to me. The most important thing about marketing is that you cannot grow your community without tapping into other communities. Think about it, as YouTube is trying to spread our content, that's all we do, we tap into other communities. Sharing on social media, tapping into our community of family and friends or a following we have already built. My four patrons are my close real life friends and they are my core supporters. Meanwhile, my Instagram, which is growing significantly faster than my YouTube channel, also generates a certain amount of traffic. Sharing on Reddit or other forums is tapping into a niche community centered around a mutual subject. It really helps to have some authority already established in those communities because then people are bound to pay more attention to what you have to say or show. So don't skimp on sharing valuable information and building a reputation in those communities. Some forums and Reddit threads don't even allow you to share videos before you've contributed a significant amount of quality content. Engagement exchange. There are many groups out there on Facebook and otherwise where content creators share their content and engage with each other. Unfortunately, many of these are actually detrimental to growing a community. Because like sub for sub, your numbers inflate but your engagement doesn't grow because none of them are genuinely interested in your content. This sends a message to social media algorithms that your content doesn't hold value because your community doesn't even engage with it, which stops your channel from growing. There are few things worse than a subscriber who doesn't engage or a view with no watch time. Nonetheless, there are several which have great systems in place for maintaining engagement and making sure everyone reciprocates. This boosts your SEO and also helps you form relationships. I've discovered several new creators that I enjoy this way and have myself gained a new audience who all 
also being content creators are very interested in what I have to say. Occasionally I use a site called Empire Cred. It's kind of a social networking game where people earn shares by being active on social media and then can buy social engagement with those shares. Honestly, it does generate hollow views, but I've also gained a handful of subscribers who genuinely seem to want to interact with my content. And last point, interaction. Getting your audience to engage is very difficult. So every person who took the plunge and put in the effort to like or even comment on a piece of your content should be rewarded in some way. Call them out often, always say thank you and interact with every comment as intimately as you can. This strengthens a growing relationship, furthering your community. There's another technique Jose shared with me and that's reaching out to bloggers and portals in your niche. And you need to reach out to people who are writing, who are passionate about the same topic that you're creating the videos about. So let's say your YouTube channel is about creating cupcakes, how to create cupcakes. You need to be reaching out to every single person who is ranked in the first five pages of how to create cupcakes or cupcake trends or whatever cupcakes. But basically they already have an audience. They've already did the hard work to get traffic and to get people interested in their content. Have them feature your video on their blog post Boom, because they're already getting traffic there, but, not, but it's not any traffic, they're getting the right audience. So that's my tip for you to get the most exposure for your content. Win, win. I mean, this is so obvious. I don't even know I haven't tried it before, although I know I won't always have the time to do that. If you have any tips that I haven't touched on, please share them below. I'd love to hear them. I was also going to do a Q&A, but I think this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to cut that out for another time. As far as the giveaway, I can't really afford something fancy, but I did and will still put a lot of effort and work and skill into it, so I think some of you might appreciate it. This here is handmade recycled paper by yours truly. One step to a cleaner planet, right? This white part here will contain a photo from my Instagram account which I will transfer onto here once a winner is picked. A transfer is pretty much a laser print which gets glued upside down with a special substance and then when it dries you scrub off the entire paper from this side leaving just the ink from the print left on this white background. So to enter the giveaway just comment below with one of your own tips for growing your community. I'd love if you could also check out my Instagram photography account and my Facebook page to both of which I post frequently. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new and as always I'm going to see you guys next week.